by the time you remove O from L, -O, what do you remain? L. L. So I just greet you in the morning, or you call me. I just mention hell. L. It's a language of hell, it's longer of hell. Nigerian brand of Christianity has given birth to some of the weirdest men and women of God over the years. Names such as Reverend King, Odumeje Indabowski Bahose, Sister Kate, and Apostle Michael Akko sure rings a bell. These pastors would rave of the moment at one time or the other, mainly due to their strange doctrines and preaching. More recently, however, Nigerian Christianity has ushered in another weird woman of God who has become an internet sensation nicknamed Mommy Geo. She grew popular towards the end of 2021 after some of her health-threatening and shocking sermons went viral. Rather than be ridden with fear, change their ways and allow God to arrest them, Nigerian youths turned her sermons into some of the best hilarious memes making the rounds on social media. And some praying and worship not be romance, then could even be speaking tongue. Mommy Gio, whose real name is Fumilayo Adebayo, prides herself as a revivalist, evangelist, and founder of Rapture Proclaimer Evangelical Church of God, based in Yanopaja, Lagos. The 54-year-old pastor from Ikiti State claims she was called by God 27 years ago, but has been in the ministry for 24 years. The prophetess who also claims to have seen Lucifer face to face first gained popularity in 2016 after a recording of a confession titled 990 Years in the Kingdom of Darkness went viral. In over four hours long audio record, she claimed she was formerly a man in ancient Egypt who died in a war before she was born in Nigeria. But before then, she claimed she was on the other side for 990 years, working for the Kingdom of Darkness as a high-ranking officer. Finally, God arrested her to preach what people must do to make heaven, hence why she has been threatening all and sundry with hell in her preaching. You might have seen some of our videos making the rounds on social media. We've done our research and have compiled top 20 shocking statements Evangelist Fumilayo Adebayo, aka Mommy Gio, made that went viral. And as always, we saved the best for the last. Hello guys, it's Tico here for African Glitz. Jeans According to Mommy Joe, who claims to attend spiritual meetings in California, Russia and 99 Realm, the real meaning of jeans is global uniform of Antichrist. So, she added in one of her sermons that anyone putting on jeans is promoting the Antichrist to come. Let me tell you something about jeans, especially you brothers. You see, in the kingdom of darkness, I was raised to the highest level of the kingdom of darkness, executive member. We sit in mercy face to face with Lucifer before Jesus Christ arrest me. So that time we are holding meeting regularly. We do meeting in Russia, in California, in Nanai Realm. So there was a there was a day we are holding meeting in Nanai Realm. One of the agents now raised it that how do we gather people's soul for the kingdom of Antichrist? How do we control their hearts? And let me tell you, the real name of Jesus is Global Uniform of Antichrist. So if we put on jeans, we are promoting Antichrist to come. Understand? Master's Degree To those doing their masters, Mommy Joe claims that they can't make heaven because a master's degree is a qualification created by King David himself. She even added that PhD is worse, and that means Prince of Hell Doctor. Titus Fish Is Titus your favorite fish? If so, you may want to consider as Mommy Geo says no Titus eating human will make heaven unless you go for deliverance. Some of you to sit and take a uh, 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 Titus. You can't make heaven while you are eating Titus fish. You can't make heaven also. You must go for deliverance. Footballers. Footballers cannot make heaven, according to Mommy Gio. She claims anyone who dies as a footballer or anyone related to them gets an automatic certificate to hell because football is a game of. Hey, I want to become a footballer. Keep quiet. There are many brothers that play.
stay in your local field in your street for 20 years they are roaming around the streets now nobody will pick them until they belong if you don't belong they won't pick you and if they pick you you refuse to belong they will drop you in an interview with bbc pigeon she told those in doubt to google god of soccer adding that events introducing the antichrist into the world will come through the world cup makeup users do you use makeup and eyelashes our dear mommy Jill says no heaven for you she claims those who use makeup as well as makeup artists are descendants of Jezebel and the judgment meted upon Jezebel surely awaits them. On the other hand, she claims eyelashes come from the armpit of Satan so those using them cannot make heaven. You talk so. I talk so. Go to other religions, even Muslim here. There's something we call Modest. I've traveled to many Muslim countries. You will never see any of the Muslim women wear anything that will open their body mastercard do you use mastercard and the atm well mommy geo says you are heading straight to hell she claims mastercard means lucifer card and those using it have successfully bought a free ticket to hell this master software means that master means lucifer software the same mastercard we are using means lucifer card and either we like it or not we must use it because we are in computer age. When I said at that time that Mastercard will come, many pastors they book me, they spoil me to their member. Do you know what penny most? When that thing now come, do you know what the pastor did? They now come to me in the corner and beg me. And they did not go back to their member. We are sorry. What I told you about evangelism is a lie. Everything evangelism we say has come to pass. They hid it away from their member. However, she made a U-turn over this claim during a BBC Pigeon interview. Here is what she had to say. That they say, I say if person use MasterCard, you go go to Fire, me too, I use MasterCard, and I know they go Fire. Jewelry and hair extension. Mommy Jill claims she produced the first attachment on Earth, named Amigo. She said Medusa gave her the covenant power of attachment. She also claims to have made the first hair relaxer. While you're checking the authenticity of this information, Mommy Jill wants those who use hair extensions and relaxers to know that they are hell bound. She says even if one dies with just a strand of hair extension, hellfire is sure for them. Break dance. Break dance originated from hell, according to Mommy Jill. She said, where did break dance generate from? Michael Jackson. He got the power from the dead land. What is the land of the dead? Skeleton. Skeleton is not from the living. If you break dance, you're telling God you are dead. Excuse me. This dancing they are dancing, what's the name? Break dancing. Is it not break dancing? Uh, down. Where did break dancing generated from? Michael Jackson. And Michael Jackson collects the power of his dancing from the dead land. That is who I want to Hey, stop it there. What are we watching in this now? Eh? Stop it there. Break dance generated from Michael Jackson. Mike doesn't get his own dance from the land of death. And what is that of death? Skeleton. It's not easy for skeleton, bone and bone, to die softly. Skeleton cannot do like this. If you want to do like this, you need to do like this. Abby. So anything break dance is skeleton skeleton is not for the living one it's for the dead so if you are dancing break dance you are telling god i am phones phones are not excluded from the mommy geo list she said a phone is a ticket to hell fire telling your parent to buy set for you for your birthday you are asking for the ticket to hell fire somebody here The coach I lay down before. Mm -hmm. Let me open my wardrobe for you to see. This is how it is done. Like this. You 
see is all I have in there. Well, let me show you my mini kitchen. My mini kitchen. Something like this. Wow. Antibiotics and vaccine. While antibiotics and vaccines continue to save humanity from deadly diseases, Momijio says it is a one-way ticket to hell. Walt Disney During one of her many sermons, the lady evangelist said Walt Disney name design and logo projects 666, the number Christians associate with the mark of the beast and antichrist. Disney, what, what Disney? You, many of you watch this cartoon, Abby, but yet you carry 666. Yes, there are many ways they show it to children, they will not know. See, this is another six. Six, six, six. At times they can turn it upside down, doesn't mean. Six, six, six. Indomie noodles. Mommy Joe claims eating noodles is not bad, but she exempted Indomie noodles. She said it's food dedicated to idols. If you love to eat Indomie, my dear, you are eating a food dedicated to idol. You can eat other noodles, but Indomie is highly polluted. American Visa Lottery Mommy Gio says no rapture for anyone who wins American Visa Lottery. All of you that want to go to America, if you can get American visa and you go to America, by lottery, my dear, there's no rapture for you. Deodorant and perfume. Here is where it gets interesting. While celebrities have been advocating for the use of deodorant, Momijio says it's highly demonic. She said a perfume causes the spirit of fornication to come upon its users. Virginity The Christian God, according to many, is a miracle worker, and Momijio has a testimony on this. She claims that after giving her life to Christ, she regained a virginity that even her husband, who had been a fornicating partner, was surprised. When that man married to me, he was once my boyfriend before I became born again. Oh. When we now marry, the day we met, this man stood up, so for me, what is happening? Now? Ah, are you not formally my girlfriend? Why am I sleeping like with you and you become virgin again? Why? It took this man more than 30 minutes before he can penetrate because I automatically become virgin again. Yes, my husband was surprised. Say, What? How come your body became close? I pray and he answer me. And I'm not joking. He can do it for you again. Even to today, my body still remains tight and I'm not joking. Drug pushing. Mommy Jill once said she wasn't a fool before she met Christ but very woke and as such, she pushed drugs, sold guns, rented ammunition to robbers and was a hired killer. She claims to have boys working for her and was paid millions to give politicians information. She even said that she didn't travel physically via aeroplanes but with a flying carpet when she trafficked drugs. She said that even Obasanjo and Babangida knew her well as a drug dealer and they were close pals. So, the police had no guts to arrest her. Celebrities Celebrities were not spared by Mommy Joe. She claims Tonto DK is not human and many brothers have lost it due to Jen Jembe. This lady Tonto, Tonto DK, she has gone far. Tonto DK, in fact, by birth, she's not even a woman being. She's not even a woman being at all. By birth, brothers, I pity you. In the name of Jen Jembe, many has lost it. There are some lady, as many men that even say I love you, we become slave forever. Just open your mouth, say I love you. She also claims those listening to Tiwa Savage songs will not make heaven. Olamide, according to her, is a member of the Illuminati and deals directly with the devil and other singers. Also, Rihanna and Lady Gaga, according to Mommy Joe, are married to Lucifer, hence why Rihanna used the Baphomet position in her song Umbrella. Olamide is a member of Illuminati. Mention their name, all of them. They are member of Illuminati. 
and who are these illuminati the people that their boss their head is devil they are dealing not that one demon no 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 direct communication with lucifer let me tell you something i'll deal with lucifer direct what lucifer loves most is sexual intercourse lucifer sex every day i'm not joking you. did you know lucifer used to do marriage with people he married rihanna he married lady gaga there's one of lady gaga's ambition and rihanna clip who's singing it's my umbrella ella ella hey hey it's my umbrella you will discover he do like this later he now do like this if you know what it means you will never sing that song in your life comedians Mommy Jill claims that to become a comedian, one is destined to hell. During one of her sermons, she said, My dear, if you are here and your dream is to become a comedian, I want you to renounce Jesus before you become a comedian. You must renounce Jesus and reject him. To become a comedian means you are destined for hell. And if any pastor tell you you are destined to be a comedian, that means you belong to hell. Vitamin C. In one of her sermons, Mommy Jill said that anyone taking vitamin C could never make heaven unless they stop it and go to the livrance. Why? According to her, ascorbic acid came directly from the deep sea, from which vitamin C is made. No, if you continue taking vitamin C, bet it you can't make it. How can you make it unless you go and stop it and do your deliverance? Is it not ascorbic? Ascorbic acid is not product anywhere on earth. Ascorbic acid came direct from the deep sea. Apostle Babalola, the last but certainly not the least of the many weird things Mommy Jiu has said is Apostle Babalola, the late founder of one of Nigeria's biggest churches, Christ Apostolic Church. Mommy Jiu claims that while she was still working for the Kingdom of Darkness, they had a meeting with astrologers they sent to find out why eight souls made it to heaven that year. They found that God broke the barrier through Babalola, who ensures none of his members wear jewelry. So, she made a judgment against him in their kingdom by programming a demon and reincarnating the demon as a female human. The demon was to marry Babalola and frustrate him and his ministry to prevent him and others from going to heaven. According to her, the demon did as told and until she died, she did not repent because God would never have accepted her as a demon. Any Christian that died right today, <laughs> and he died like that without any relief, is not going to help. They say they want to save galaxy. That's another planet like that. They want to save it. You no, know, it's been destroyed. And they were they want, you know, I don't know what is here they want to take. I don't know that thing here. Don't let me say I don't know. If I say I don't know, I'm lying, but I'm not going to talk about it. With this and many other of her sermons going viral, her authenticity as a woman called by God has been questioned. While many think she is suffering from schizophrenia, many others think she is one of the end-time false prophets predicted in the Bible. Nonetheless, Momijo claims that many people are after her life due to her preaching, including other men of God who are not preaching the right gospel to their congregation. She claims she gets death threats and some even outright shoot at her when she's driving. During an interview with BBC Pigeon, she also claimed many of the memes going viral of her sermons are not true, but clips re edited by her haters. For everybody that are carrying my picture to post dirty, dirty things, that they say, I say, person use MasterCard, you go, go to F fire, me too, I did use MasterCard, and I know they go F fire. They say, I say, some school. University, if you get collect master, you are going to hell. Now, I lie you, many master degree they inside my church, and they are not going to hell fire in Jesus' name. Many dirty things they say, I say, woman, get boots, if you get bottom, you go go hell fire, and I lie, make me talk calm. People are just using you, using it to cash funds. What do you think about Mommy Jill and her vision? Do you believe in any of the things she said, especially the part of spending 990 years in the other side? Do you believe her teachings has the backing of the Bible, such as the vitamin C and Titus teachings? Are you surprised to hear that people are after our life? Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share.
Also, don't forget to subscribe for more well-researched African stories and news we know you would like. Click on the bell sign to be notified every time we upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.